All right, so now you created your model, you saved it, and it's ready to be animated. Well, just to learn about it. But we're not going to go into recording yet. So what you want to do is you want to go to edit on your model. Uh, on the bottom, these are your animation mappings. It will have some that you will want to use and some that you will barely ever use uh, by default. What I usually do is I ignore these. I ignore all these animations that go to new animation mapping. What I do is PC. PC is where all the animation um, related nights um, related to our spiral nights are at. Just for our nights, not for the monsters or other stuff. So the folders right here are empty even if you push all files because the folder some folders have stuff in it like uh, I could think of one emotes emotes I use a lot because they have all the wave trick talk laugh but right now what do I want to do I want to make him hmm what should I make him do I'll make him do Oh, I'll make him do the guarding animation. Uh, you'll see what it is in a minute. Because I'm... So what you want to do is you click on it, then you start automatically. It doesn't do it. That's the thing. If you want to make him do it, you have to minimize. Minimize. Remember, you got to minimize. Don't close it, otherwise it'll reset the whole thing. Unless you save it, but... Sometimes I particularly don't want to save it because then I will have to go back and then clear those animations if I want to do another. And then the parser will be taking long. But right now you just minimize it so the animation stays there throughout the whole thing. And then you go to new environmental models and then you create a new one. And now to make it do the animation, this is what's called you. Uh, it's like a ticking. Um, time thing like if you want to make an anime you have to create the bland and environmental model and then you have to point it you have to make it move towards the model that you're gonna animate it to so I'm gonna move this up to Solotron and as you can see right there Solotron is doing his pose his guardian pose and it's on loop the thing is to set on loop let me see. Yep. When it's the sound on loop, it'll continue doing this for the whole entire thing until you decide to reset it. Now let's change it into something else. Let's go with. Let's go with. Uh, let's go with a death animation. It did it quick because I replaced the old animation into this. So when it does that. And you don't click on sorry automatically, it'll automatically do part of it. But in order to see the whole thing, you're gonna have to do the same thing. You have to drag the bland environmental model into Solotron. And you see it does the deaf animation. If you might if you want to make it slower, the global speed is right down there, like I said. You can change it to half so you can see it. You could also drag the the model itself into the bland as long as it's towards the bland model I mean not the bland model the the empty environmental model I call it, I say bland I don't know why then it'll do the animation automatically right there so it's solar see so that will be all for part one I'll give some links and whatever I just talked about on the description below I will keep making tutorials uh, throughout the week because I'm free, lucky. I'm also working on the Obsidian stuff for Dark Harvest by the time you see this YouTube. So yeah, this is this has been Sir Jinxable from Spy Spy and I hope you learned a thing or two about how to animate. Yeah, and that is it. Until next time, where we talk about 
what do we talk about next? I guess we'll talk about making more models and animating them as well. All right, I'll see you next time.